right now the news that's going around for movies is there's like all these like kind of like petty little fights going on and some of them are bigger than others but you know like this actor said that this actor isn't supporting sag this you know there's a lot of like those kind of stories that are just kind of floating around whether it's uh uh amel hanging out like saying all the things that he said and then having to hold the sign at um the the strike you know like those kind of stories are out there and then there's the other story and the other story is just barbie just barbie taking over the entire freaking world like it just keeps on making so much money i'm working on stats right now uh but uh there are only a few movies that i've found that have um done a little bit better in their fourth week percentage wise than barbie like it's it's historic how great Barbie is doing at the box office. So people are talking about that, but now we're going to be talking about it in a different way because it's not just Warner brothers that's making a ton of money off of this thing. Margot Robbie, the star of Barbie. She is so rich now. (laughs) So rich. Let's take a look. Variety was reporting this. Margot Robbie is being richly rewarded for her key role in bringing Barbie to the big screen. The star and producer, and I feel like that's super important to talk about, her being a producer of this movie. She was the one that was like pushing it with her influence to be like, this is going to be a huge movie. We need to get, you know, uh, Greta Gerwig in on this thing. She's the one who's been pushing. So uh, the star and producer behind the summer's biggest hit stands to make roughly $50 $50 million in salary and box office bonuses, according to three individuals with knowledge of her deal. So while Margot Robbie hasn't been in Hollywood nearly as much uh, as someone like Tom Cruise with Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise made so much money off of Top Gun Maverick. And I think she's learned quite a bit from that and uh, saw that this was going to be a success. You know, whether she thought it was going to be this big uh, that I don't know, but she obviously thought it was going to be a huge deal. So she had things lined up so that if it were to be this hit 50 million bucks, that's crazy. That is what some of these stars in like the MCU get for being in like the biggest movies ever you know it's robert downey jr level money for being an endgame like that's that's what we're talking about here except for it's margot robbie and barbie which again just think about that think about how crazy that is let's rewind a little bit to before the summer happened and we were all talking about movies like uh the flash You know, we're talking about Mission Impossible. We're talking about some of these other movies. And I don't think anybody saw Barbie coming the way that it did. Like we all thought it was going to do well. But maybe maybe some of us didn't even think that it was going to beat Oppenheimer opening weekend. And now it's become such a success to where its star is getting paid $50 million. And it seems to be mostly from just bonuses bonuses of it being able to reach certain amounts and whatnot so i'm very interested very interested to see what it's going to do in his fifth week uh so is it gonna beat blue beetle blue beetle's coming out on thursday thursday night i'm gonna go and see it very excited to see it i hear that it's good i want it to be great um but will it be able to beat barbie i don't know 